Shalom Israel, and welcome to Hebrew Chronicles Publishing. On today's segment, we're going to be talking about the Adir Ark. We're going to be discussing particular characters throughout the next previous segments. Um, we're going to start off with Adir because he is the main character of this uh, this, uh, this arc. And he is actually one of my favorites when it comes to Shy. In my previous video, I was talking about the different levels of Shy and some of its benefits as well as their weaknesses. Um, I didn't do too much of the weakness. I'll actually get into that in another video. But just to give you, um, like, a, just to make it brief, the Shy enhances your strength, stamina, and your battle awareness. But as I stated before in a previous video, it does not make you invulnerable to weaponry. Okay, so just because you can use Shy doesn't mean that you're unstoppable. It just makes you a very dangerous threat because... There's ways that a person can only, there's only so many ways that a person can actually beat you now. You know, you're faster, stronger, you have, you know things they, they most sometimes don't, and if not, you're actually at a level of a technic, like an, a god, pretty much. You like know all of the weapons they're going to have, and you know most of their battle strategies because of previous, um, the pretty much the knowledge of your forefathers is with you now. So let's get into the main character. We're going to go into um, about these different characters, uh, their upbringings, uh, their families, the tribes, and their age. So we're going to start off with Adir since he is the main character of this arc. Okay, so Adir is, was born in the land of uh, Jerusalem in Judah. Adir was the son of a former senior officer of the city of Jerusalem, whose name was Ariah. So Ariah was, just to give you a little background about it, you know, Adir's father, he served as a officer, high-ranking officer, like an officer of 50, during the time of Ariel, when he, when he was constructing the military um, by the help of Barak. Barak was really in charge of the military. So when they went off to war to fight against the Moabites and the Ammonites, which had the northern kingdom and mainly Ephraim and uh, Manasseh in slavery, they actually, uh, the, it was seven men. Um, the angel told um, Ariel, find six men. I don't want it to be no more than seven men to glorify my power. I want you to go over there and I want you to take down their entire military, um, their whole military fleet. They're trying to build suburbs and cities and garrisons of in the Northern Kingdom's province. I want you to take that, take them out, bring them back, train them up in the law, and then send forth um, construction workers to actually build the cities back again. And then once the cities have been reestablished and they're built, and the brothers and sisters are waxed and well in the law, then they can go back home. So that's technically what happened. Ariah was mainly stationed to guard the homeland because, of course, when you send your best warriors off to war, that makes your homeland vulnerable. Therefore, uh, some military, actually uh, Moabites, I believe, Moab, sent some of their uh, men to intercept to go around because they, they, they know they couldn't beat the bishops and the deacons nor the captains at the time. So they say, OK, we can't take them out. So if they're coming here. The best thing to do is to send our strongest fleet to their homeland and then smash their homeland. So even if they do end up beating us, we won the war. May not have won the battle, but we won, won the war. Ariah was actually left guard um, along with um, Ira and Dory. Those three were the highest ranking officers there in Jerusalem at the time. And they were actually, they were, um, they were guards under and only subject to Captain Gill. Gill was the man who trained Nathaniel and he also trained many others, um, as well as a deer. So Getting back to, I just wanted to give you a backstory, a little bit of Ariah. Ariah was a high-ranking officer 
and he is the father of the main character of this arc. So Adir is his his son. It says, to continue reading, it says, upon being demoted to, to a soldier, he joined forces with the Heathen Alliance. The Heathen Alliance was the, um, a combination of the heathen that actually raged war against the Israelites when Ariel ended up leaving the kingdom in the hands of, of Rihanna. He said, okay, I did everything. Everything's constructed. I want to build a family and stay out in the wilderness of Shur. So that's what he did. Once the heathen found out that the man with the golden armor was gone, they said, okay, now it's time. So the heathen alliance, meaning all of the nations, waged war against the Israelites and a lot of people died. So Arai, which is the father of Adir, ended up joining an alliance with them. So let's continue reading. It says, upon being demoted to a soldier, he joined forces with the heathen alliance, which killed many. Adir was shamed among all of Judah. So much so, his mother, by reason, took her own life. So she committed suicide because of the shame of the family. Then it says, these frequent sins caused Adir to grow cold, focusing only being the best. So he took all of that because everyone looked at him a certain way. They had um, many, really no expectations of him. He was always, so in order for him to feel relevant, he had to be the best at everything. So let's continue. It says, although many shun him privily, gave him much praise openly for fear of him because he was so good at what we can do. There was really nobody fist faster, stronger, or uh, more gifted. He was considered a prodigy of his uh, province in, in the city of Jerusalem. So the people would, you know, talk behind his back, but when they were face to face with him, they were afraid. So they would always give him praise. It was fake, fake love, you could say. It says, because of various studies and hard training with Captain Gill, by the tender age of 13, he unlocked Shai and began and gained honor and respect from all those who despised him. So when he actually was, because he was, he was considered to be the youngest to ever unlock that ability. So Adir was a prodigy of his province. Out of all of the 12 tribes um, within this world, there's not, never been a person that was younger than 20, well, 18, to unlock Shy. He was the first, and he was only 13, meaning he trained hard. This is where everyone feared him. So Adir was considered to be a pro prodigy of, his, of the nation, of his tribe also, and among his province. So even though they didn't, the people of the city didn't like him, because of the shame that was brought to his family by him actually through hard work and study of the scriptures his the lord had uh, show favor on him and the angel ended up giving uh, unlocking his ability to use shy so um shy is like i said something is not something that everyone can actually obtain it's only certain people who actually are able to get it and a deer was one of those individuals that unlocked it at a young age the issue with him is when you read the arc, he grew arrogant. And this is the reason why I wrote this, this arc, because you can see him trying to redeem himself among his brethren. So I'll actually make another video uh, pertaining to the men who actually found him in the arc. If you want to read the story, make sure that you read the story. Uh, go make sure that you uh, join our Patreon. It's only one dollar a one dollar a month. You get two arcs character arcs um every two weeks so you get two arcs a month and you also have access to all of the previous um character arcs that we've written so not only do you get by, by becoming a patron do you get all of the two new arcs a month you also get access to all of the previous arcs that we've already written in hcp so become a patron for just one dollar a month and enjoy the righteous literature that we try to put forth to entertain as well as educate our people and to show a good example of literature for our people for the for the youth so we can actually have some youthful characters to actually you know to read about a lot of people like myself i watch a lot of anime and none of the characters ever look like me and if they do they're either blonde or some weird colored hair. I'm trying to create images 
to represent the nation of Israel. So please support brothers and sisters. I'm trying to bring forth great literature for our nation. Just $1 a month, you get access to all of our previous short story arcs, as well as two new arcs every month. So enjoy and keep reading.